region champions, Warwick's path to the B is far and away the best story. The Warriors needed to win a play-in game just to get to the Region 4 quarterfinals. Then victories over Harvey Wells County, North Prairie, and North Star, and it was time to make plans for Bismarck. Tall task tonight, though, playing top-seeded, number-one rated, and undefeated Central Cast. Early in the game here, the Squirrels found themselves out in a battle. It's Cole Holzer down to Mason Bossy lays it in. Central cast by one after one. Second quarter, Warriors are going to jump in front, though. Mark Fassett Jr. gets it at the top of the key, works underneath the defender, gets that mid-range to go. He was a double-figure scorer. Just before the half, Warwick securing that halftime lead. Jason Lenore using a little uh, acrobatics. It was a two-point Warwick lead at the break. Here's Elijah Feather Jr. in the third quarter, hitting a triple 43-38 lead into the fourth looking for the upset but in the fourth the squirrels find some offense Cole Holzer gets the basket underneath puts his team ahead Central Cast wins it by the final of 58 to 46. The 4-5 matchup is Thompson against Delax Burlington. The Tommies forcing a little turnover here in their uh, first defensive stand of the game. Some quick passing in transition. Jacob Starcevic finishes the play, gets the Tommies on the board early. Slow offensive start really for both teams, though. Lakers, though, started to take advantage of some size. Carson Yale put, gets that one off the glass. He had 14 points, 11 rebounds. Here's Yale from outside as DLB pulls away late and wins it by the final of 55-48. to 48. Shiloh Christian and Beulah played back in January. They'll meet again tomorrow, but there's a lot more on the line. The Skyhawks, though, beat Powers Lake Burke Central in the tournament opener. Fast start for the Skyhawks in this one as Kyler Klein, one of uh, six Skyhawks to score in the opening half. He had 14 points. That balanced offense was on display once again for Shiloh Christian today. Here's Jay Wansick gets that little pass down low. He had 11 points. The Ranchers, uh, they uh, got a bucket here from Grayson Schroeder, but it was the Skyhawks that used that big lead early to win it by the final of 69 to 38. We uh, wanted to come out and try to get us going on the right track uh, right off the bat. And uh, I like the effort from the, the team and we were able to get everybody in the game, which is a big deal for me because kids don't always get a chance to be in a state tournament. So I like to try to figure out at least one game where I can get them all in there. But uh, because uh, I want to make it fun for everybody. Nothing's more fun than winning. Beulah is the number three seed playing Medina PB today. And it was a battle between these two teams early on. Champ Hedick would get this one to go down for the Miners. He had eight points in the game. Eight points is what Ga uh, Gage Magstad scored as well uh, from Medina PB as he gets that bucket behind the three-point line. But Beulah uh, would uh, get a bucket here late in the, uh, the possession to Trace Beauchamp. He was a double-figure scorer with 10 points. Beulah wins it by the final. Final of 48 to 31, outscoring the Miners 29 to 10 in the second half. We really challenged them and told them, hey, you got one half to try to get to where you want to go. And if we don't play any better, especially on the offensive end, I told them that, you know, we're going to be playing tomorrow afternoon again. And I think they took that to heart. You know, we struggled the first half, especially to make shots. And maybe it was some nerves, but I thought our offensive movement suffered because of that as well. And the second half, we were a lot better, but the ball went in through the hoop, and that seems to make things better as well on the offensive end. It certainly does. That's day one of the B baseball down in Arizona. BSC played in Oka Ramsey twice and won both of those games.